In this video, we'll look at how to calculate the specific heat capacity of a substance. Specific heat capacity is the energy required to raise the temperature of one kilogram of a substance by one degree Celsius. The equation for calculating the energy needed is change in energy equals mass times specific heat capacity times temperature change. Change in energy tells us both the energy required to heat up one kilogram of a substance by one degree, but also how much energy is released when one kilogram of a substance cools down by one degree. The same amount of energy will be absorbed or released. Energy is measured in joules. Mass is measured in kilograms. Specific heat capacity is measured in joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. And temperature change is measured in degrees Celsius. For example, two kilograms of water is heated in a kettle and its temperature increases from 25 degrees to 100 degrees. The specific heat capacity of water is 4,200 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. Calculate the change in energy of the water. Change in energy is equal to mass times specific heat capacity times temperature change. The temperature change from 25 degrees to 100 degrees is 75 degrees. If we substitute our values from the question, change in energy is equal to 2 times 4,200 times 75 which is 630,000 joules. Here are some practice questions for you to try. Pause the video and give them a go. The specific heat capacity of a material is the energy needed to raise the temperature of one kilogram of a substance by one degree. The equation that links specific heat capacity, change in energy, mass and temperature change is change in energy equals mass times specific heat capacity times temperature change. To calculate the change in energy of the water, we use this equation. The temperature change from 10 to 20 degrees is 10 degrees. Change in energy is equal to the mass of 800 times the specific heat capacity of 4200 times the temperature change of 10 degrees. This gives us a change in energy of 36,600,000. For the next question, we'll need to rearrange after we've substituted our values. We use the same equation as before. We need energy change to be in joules, not kilojoules. So 4 kilojoules is 4,000 joules, and we need mass to be in kilograms, not grams. So 300 grams is 0.3 kilograms. We also need to calculate the temperature change. An increase from 10 degrees to 39 degrees is a temperature change of 29 degrees. So change in energy, which is 4,000, is equal to 0.3 times specific heat capacity, which we're trying to find out, times our temperature change of 29 degrees. If we rearrange this, Specific heat capacity is equal to 4,000 divided by 0.3 times 29, which gives us a specific heat capacity of 459.8 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful for you, and I'll see you in the next one.